our primary objective here on Guam is to make sure that we're supporting our detachments. So we send two detachments over to 7th Fleet to support uh, war fighting efforts as well as a uh, CLF debt. So right now we have one debt that's out on uh, USS America um, supporting our forces out there. So we're also getting ready to send another debt out. So we're constantly training for that mission. So inside of that, uh, what we do here at Home Guard, we really have a whole nother debt here that supports all of the SARS and medevacs and firefighting efforts here on Guam. Typically during the day, we're gonna support a 12 to 16 hour flight schedule, being able to do all that training for um, any sort of uh, maritime forces and also overland training that we're able to execute. On a standard flight, uh, we'll ensure that we have our full crew, so let's talk about the half, the co-pilot, and then we have our crew chief as well as rescue swimmer. We'll also bring a SMT with us. So we have um, quite a few corpsmen here at the squadron, so they work in the helicopter as well as also at our clinic. There are a couple different um, local agencies that we work with, so obviously we have a very close relationship with Coast Guard Sector Guam, and then especially for um, our firefighting efforts, we'll be talking to GFR as well. So um, closely work with them, we talk to them all the time, and then uh, we just recently opened up a relationship with uh, the National Guard over here, so they have helicopters um, that also do training in the area. They are also starting to um, kind of work into some, um, I think, overland search and rescue training. Um, so we're trying to start a relationship with them and um, get some bilateral training going on. Uh, we also work with EOD Mobile Unit 5 and then some of the NSW teams in the area. We really think that we are able to um, kind of use our local assets um, to their maximum potential, as well as providing them uh, services. I think we have a very unique mission set here on the island. Um, we are able to do rescues in the jungle. We're able to do rescues in waterfalls. We're able to do rescues off cliffs um, and you know, miles and miles out in the ocean. Um, so really, there's no other squadron um, provide search and rescue with this sort of versatility. It's an incredible place to be out here and serve. Um, it, it gives me a great amount of pride and obviously job satisfaction to be able to help people.